troubling new assessment of North Korea's nuclear capability was made public today. Here now is Congressman Doug Lamborn from Colorado, who broke that story. Jimmy P. and Keith Boykin still with me. Congressman, thanks very much. Here's the unclassified quote from the Defense Intelligence Agency report that you read today in a hearing on Capitol Hill, and I quote, DIA assesses with moderate confidence the North Koreans currently have nuclear weapons capable of delivery by ballistic missiles. However, the reliability may be low. Now, this sounds like very rough sledding for that whole powder keg situation, Congressman. How do you see this? I'm glad that we are sending Aegis missile destroyers to help our ally in Japan. We already had some station there. We're beefing that up. Japan has some good capability. And we also, Larry, have some good international ballistic missile defense, defense in Alaska and the west coast of the U.S. So I don't have an immediate concern that we're doing anything wrong. I think that the gravity of the situation and the potential threat is something that everyone should be aware of, though. See, a lot of people have said on this whole issue, this, this gradual dis, uh, discussion, this gradual de uh, development in North Korea, that they may look silly at times, but every time they run one of these tests up, they learn something, they get something. I, I guess what I'm asking you is, in terms of odds, what, how would you handicap on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being absolute perfect, 1 being nothing going on? How would you uh, rank their nuclear capability right now, today? Larry, we know that they have set off nuclear tests uh, of a rudimentary nature. We haven't known them in the past to be able to put that device on a ballistic missile. The DIA has come out and said that there is some belief on their part that that capability does exist and that's a huge concern now let's fully fund our nation's missile defense Barack Obama has submitted a proposal where he cuts that by half a billion dollars I think that's a mistake I'd like to see that reversed to better protect our country Larry and I think that's really the ultimate goal that we should have here well I'm reading in the Washington Post that General Dempsey doesn't doesn't disagree with any of this says Dempsey says the extent of North Korean progress on designing a nuclear weapon small enough to operate as a missile warhead was classified but he did rule it out congressman and then he says they've conducted two nuclear tests they've conducted several successful ballistic ballistic missile launches so that leads me to the other question congressman what about their delivery system do we think they have a delivery system too well, that's, that's the whole question. We, we know they can explode the device. This DIA report says that they may have the capability of actually combining the two. There's some belief on, on their part of the DIA, which is, a, I think, an impartial and credible intelligence community agency that we have. So we have to take this very seriously. All right, you broke a hell of a story today, Congressman. I'm telling you, public service, thank you very much. Congressman Lamborn, Colorado, appreciate it.